Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. So, um, I am going to be doing our crypto check-in, tarot check-in, to see what's going on in the markets. Obviously, we can just type in Google News and see what's going on, but I think it's also fun to kind of have like a little bit of a backup stream or source of info from my guides to see what's coming in the next few weeks. So, if you've been following me lately, you know that I personally feel like between March, April, and May, there's going to be some sort of temporary shoot up in crypto potentially. And I believe it's going to go down. I think it's going to go back up in August, July, August, September. And then I think right before midterm elections, it's going to shoot back down and I think it's going to stay down. And then I think by next year, we are going to hit a six figure Bitcoin price, which will shoot everything up that is worth anything uh, in 2023. People know that I think Bitcoin could um, temporarily shoot up to some crazy insane amount, but I only feel it's temporary because this year is very volatile. Astro astrological wise, it's too volatile of a year. It's more about ending really big things in your life and feeling like you have a fresh new start, um, which comes with a lot of volatility in the markets because people feel like with this big, with some sort of transition usually comes some sort of a crash. Now, another simple indicator that I have always looked at um, in my own spare time and when I speak to my friends and family members who are heavily involved and or very well acquainted with the stock market and or the entire business economic set setting, I don't know, um, and this is not financial advice, whenever we see gas prices go to insane highs, regardless of what inflation is, right? Because for four dollars like 10 years ago would have been crazy but now we have average prices of gas at least in california at five to six dollars per gallon regardless of whether it's at 87 or 91. so we know that the market's on its way to crashing because this is just not it's not sustainable and you know so i think for me personally um again i think this is a good time to not buy anything once you get to a place where you are seeing the profits you want myself personally i'm taking everything out and i'm putting it in cash reserves because this market is crazy the crypto market is being um is fluctuating crazily now if you've watched any of my previous videos in the past two to three months i've been predicting lots of hacks concepts of hacks coming up to crash the market the crypto market um, in general to crash the concept of crypto because what's a better way to get in early and get in and get your insider teams in at low prices if you're pumping out news media articles i'm sorry news articles saying that they're hacks and with wars that are kind of being indicated here there's definite possibility for these types of things to come about. I'm getting a few cards out with my Kipper fortune telling deck. By the way, for people who are interested, not a sponsor, but this is Volu Spa, Gilt, Poma, Pomander, and Hinoki. I love the smell of this. It's great for the holiday season and winter. I'm one of those people that likes to buy very few candles, use them up, and then buy a new set of them. Usually I have about five max and I'll use those up. Um, so again, I'm more of like a less is more type of person. I like statement pieces. I don't like things that are cluttery just to have a color and everything. I'd rather have statement pieces where, you know, I am kind of not going with fast, fast fashion, which I think in some way this is kind of in relation to it because I feel like with crypto, Again, fast fashion and like this fast fashion industry is an analogy in some way to buying shit coins. <laughs> um, you have people that want the statement pieces and you have people that want um, $1 tank tops in every single color that go bad after two weeks. Which person are you? Because in the end, yes, anthropology blouses maybe $150 um, and I totally understand not being able to like buy those every day, but I kind of feel like that's also the point of clothing 
you have a little small group of a small bag or a small bit of clothing that you wear every day when you're working out, when you're around the house, just lounging around and nobody's going to see you versus going out to dinners. I mean, how many dinners are you people having, right? Like, I, I mean, for myself, I go out to dinner with my friends, like, I would say once every two weeks, I would do something nice or fun where I, you know, maybe have to dress up. And that's honestly in a good month, like obviously because of 2019, um, I haven't been out that much, but there is some concepts here where it's just like, again, people are, the concept of crypto right now is all about fast fashion. It's all about getting rich quick. And I think though, it feels like people, again, are turning I mentioned this previously in another video, but I feel like people are kind of turning the page on, okay, X, Y, and Z, these are all pyramid schemes, fake types of coins. And now some of those people are kind of like, I hate to say it, but they're losing their money or they're realizing there's no value in those coins. So a lot of those people are kind of saying, okay, I lost money. I just have to accept it. Yeah, you probably did. If you didn't make significant profits and or if you yeah, I would say if you didn't make significant profits in the past uh bull run cycle which was between September and November of 2021 from coins under 1 cent, like if you didn't make money from that time frame, I don't really feel like there's going to be much more money to be made. They're actually saying like with the crypto regulation movement, there could be some sort of like, um, they're saying there's going to be in, a, in the next few months with Biden's push to have like the FBI investigate cryptos and stuff. I think there's going to be a big ban and big regulation on the types of coins that are allowed to even be in the market. Um, at least in America, it feels like in other countries, they will follow suit after Biden's decision or after like the FBI's investigation or some sort of like investigation that's going to happen. Because again, any coins at this point in time today that are under one cent have little to no chance of doing anything. They're likely pyramid schemes, random coins that you know, in that you would not want to have money in because it feels to me like there could be, I don't know if every single one of them that's under one cent, excluding Shiba Inu, because everybody knows how I feel, but a lot of those coins where, where we have the thief and we have the family room here, based upon the cards I'm pulling and the energy, there's a chance that if you hold these coins, you could be called in for questioning. These are serious types of coins where someone buying, you know, 10 million coins in an X, Y, and Z type of coin that's 0. 0.00001 cent, where no one's ever heard of it, and a very small group of people are putting a ton of money into something, trying to shoot it up to the height of heights. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next one to two to three years, there are some sort of like issues with that. It's kind of like you could be called into questioning because you're investing in these pyramid scheme coins again, which is why I call them shit coins and pyramid and scheme coins because they might come across as having value. But if no one is actually like no big names are attached or associated directly with that coin that um, have any sort of a track record for for hyping up other types of coins, it's going to be less and less easy for them to go anywhere. Now it's kind of similar, but a little bit different because it's a little bit more schemy in my personal opinion. Um, like the dot-com bubble, you had a bunch of concepts probably that were similar to the Microsoft concept, to the to um, to Apple, to any of these types of ideas. I don't know how because I wasn't. I was like. A toddler when it, it was 2000 but they're just showing me like there were other uh, companies that did well made their profit and ran off and out of nowhere there were crashes but they're saying that like there's gonna be some sort of regulation because the government is slow to catch up but when they do catch up this decision that Biden is making is not bad because we've been asking for regulations 
We've been asking for partnerships in, in some way with the government to, to kind of get a hold on crypto. And by assigning a new unit to investigate and to kind of be associated or involved with crypto to make sure with the community card that, you know, that to, to kind of find the fraudsters, find the tricksters um, and figure out the concept of NFTs, the concept of, because that's another issue. We have NFTs, we, the NFT hack that just happened, you know, and um, some of this is just, it are just rivals pumping out bad news articles on their on other rivals. For example, I feel like OpenSea is being given like a lot of bad rep, but to be 100% honest, what my guides are saying is just like, they're just picking and choosing who they're going to like attack because they want like other, other organizations want to reign supreme. So I think there are a few competitors to like the OpenSeas, but they're also mad because OpenSea is about to go public. So what better concept to kill off OpenSea Right, because this is public information. If you go on Google, I think it's like OpenSea was going to go public or talking about it. If I'm not mistaken, someone someone confirm in the below comments if I'm correct or not. But it's kind of like obviously they're going to do that because they want whatever other competitors are out there want to reign. So I feel like again, there's kind of like this decision to um, to kind of like also place crypto the sphere of crypto in kind of a bad health, bad light. And I think that that's only going to be for a few weeks. But I think whenever this type of like weird bad light happens, it lasts for a few weeks, maybe a month, and then it kind of wears off. And out of nowhere, crypto could just take off because something ran. I feel like something random, something really good, really random, but it's not random. It's always calculated because that's how it works. Um, something really random but really positive is going to unexpectedly make crypto go berserk for like a month or two. And I think that's part of this run up to like March, April that they continue to, that my guides are showing me and making me feel. So for me, again, it feels like there's a run up. There's, we're in bad health right now, but the gift and the wealthy man are coming out, which is saying like, this gift, the wealthy man is giving a gift or kind of like crypto itself is giving a gift to us temporarily through this bad health to kind of like weather a little bit of the storm and get some of our profits because I think it's also the universe kind of gifting a group of people who have been doing all the type, the, the right type of work. Now we also have, I don't like to read cards upside down, so I'm actually not, but I feel like some people need to watch their jobs Make sure you're doing the right work. It feels like they're going to be some people losing their jobs and some people getting promoted. It feels like um, in regards to promotions and in regards to moving up the ladder, there is a chance for um, crypto to be associated with this in some way, kind of like, again, they keep, this is, it's kind of the same storyline, but different. They wanted me to talk about like workplace for a second, but they were saying that as an example, again, of kind of like picking out the main coins and preserving those as being the okay coins for the collective to be working with. Um, they're saying like those types of coins, the big, the big kahuna, what is that? Is that a term that people use? It's like the big, the big coins are the ones that they're going to uh, take out and the other coins that no one really likes and no one cares about, there's going to be some sort of a ban. I feel like there might, it might be more temporary, but it could be a bigger ban nonetheless. Um, on again, just random coins that are not going anywhere with the coffin here, which Everybody needs to be prepared for. So in the comments, when we're getting random, you know, random comments saying buy blah, 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 Inu, buy, you know, all these random coins that no one's ever heard of in their lives. Like some of these coins I have heard of that are, you know, that might go somewhere that's awesome if they had done so. But it's kind of the ones that are like, you know, blah, 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 Inu. And they're like, just buy it. And it's just like, you know you're telling people to do this and it's not, this is not a comment section to like 
try to advertise trading, you know, getting like one Bitcoin and trading for like 10 Bitcoin in two weeks. I'm sorry, that's just not how it works. Unless you're mining Bitcoin and you're literally like an OG in that, I'm like very weary. Do not respond to any of these people in any of these comments because it's happening everywhere. It's not just, obviously it's not just my YouTube. My YouTube is so small compared to like the larger um, YouTube channels. Make sure that you do not respond where they have like 30 likes and they're like, oh yes, you know, Jane Doe is a great a financial advisor, she helped me make $30,000 in two weeks from trading Bitcoin, and I only had to give her $100. And then someone else comments, and you just like, the people, the, the like, the email accounts that respond, it's just like, how are they all finding the same email and knowing that of all of these people that this person is the best person? I think everybody knows at this point, like, that those are all scams, but it's just like wild to see the extent, the lengths that people have gone to. But they're telling me too that like, not all NFTs and not all, you know, metaverse land, not all Decentraland, not all sandbox land. Um, not everything is a scam, but the point is, is that if you got in before Biden started talking about regulating and stuff, regulating big things. I kind of have a feeling that like you guys, everybody watching this video now, if you have any sort of crypto in like the top 25 uh, of like the most popular or like the biggest names, you are an early crypto investor period because you are here before all of the regulations are going to come in, right? So if you've been in this space for that long, like you are going to uh, be the people that are highest, that have the highest chance of profiting from this, this rally of the decade. I think that, um, again, like we are in a place where we are going to see a lot of huge, yeah, huge, huge uh, coins remain around with the wheel of fortune and with the eight of pentacles it's all about working and with the wheel of fortune is jupiter expansion now we also want to mention that jupiter pluto transit is coming to its next stage and that is also known as the wealth cycle the wealth cycle initially occurred during 2020 when there was a massive crash the prior wealth cycle was 2007 now can you get an idea the prior one before that was can you guess it 1995 now based upon those Pluto and Jupiter cycles, the wealth cycles. What happened during those times? Massive crashes. 1995, dot-com boom, crash. 2007, real estate, crash through the, through the floor. Subprime mortgages went to shit. Everything went to shit. You could get your condo for 100 grand when it was previously like 700 grand, right? The last one, was 2019, the, the sickness. I can't say the word because they'll shadow ban me. But in 2020, they had a fall, they had a crash, March to April, and it went all the way through until the end of the year. And then things started going crazy at the same time, but that crash was what prompted crypto to go from Bitcoin to go from 4,000 to 60,000 and to now to 40,000, but it's gonna go to 100,000 next year. And then we had Ethereum that was at $130. It went to 4,000. So mark my words, this next cycle is this coming cycle that's about to happen. You make your money. That's why I said I keep telling everybody I'm making my money. I'm getting my money out. And I'm, I'm saying if you guys want to do it too, congratulations. Good for you. If you have your own little plans, not financial advice. But when this market crashes, which it will, because there are so many indicators that the real crash is coming. 2020, in my opinion, was a BS crash. It was a fake crash that was instigated due to the sickness. I, that's what I'm just going to call it. Just like a few years before, there were a bunch of signs in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. There were a bunch of indicators that it was going to happen. And then the real crash happened in 2009 when Obama went into office. Right? So 2007, there were indicators there. 2009, bam. 2020. The sickness happened. There was fake crash energy. 
for two years and then out of nowhere, dead in the water. It's gonna happen again. Get your money and get out, stay out. And when you see that tank, that terribly unexpected, but yet anticipated tank that will hurt lots of people and we pray for those people. But <laughs> two to three years later, you won't have to work anymore. So, you know, it's just a matter of like how you have your plans lined up. People I follow for this type of information, astro finance, the concept, the concepts behind astro finance, the concepts behind crypto, well, besides my guides, which tell me pretty much everything I need to know about my whole life, personally, my whole life. Um, but, you know, about crypto, about astro finance, I have a slew of those people that I've mentioned before in my previous videos, so check those people out. Um, shout out to them. Shout out to the people that decided to listen and listen to their videos and see the magic of what they've done and have decided to take a leap of faith and, you know, do, and this is not me sponsoring them. It's just me telling you that astrology works and crypto in a few weeks it's going to get hot again. It's going to get real hot. And when you, the minute you see that hot, that thing go off and you see, okay, I'm good. This, and when you get that gut instinct that says to you personally, no other person, no financial, you know, guru on YouTube, listen to your gut instinct to what you need to do. Follow your gut. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. The minute that I see it's, it's real good, almost too good is when I'm getting out. That's see, it's, this is the key for me. When I see that it's too good at this point in time to be as good as it is, that's when I'm getting out because when it's too good, that means it's going to crash even harder, especially with $6 gas prices per gallon. All right. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Now I have the Intuit Oracle deck. I also have the Lovers. It's a choice. It's a decision. It's a key decision. Will you do what you need to do when you see that market get to a crazy point in crypto? Or will you sit there? Do you have a reason to just sit there and chill? Because the thing is, if you're making enough money to just not even care and just keep it in there, good for you. Like, do that. But for me, as a person who maybe... You know, I'm a minimalist. I also like, I, you know, everybody's in a different financial place, right? So for me, it feels like I need to do that for myself. Um, for, you know, and that's also what my guides are showing me. They're saying, no, 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 it's okay. Do what you need to do. Because very soon, if crypto or if Bitcoin could go under 20K, which who knows, to be 100% honest, I would not doubt it. If Bitcoin can go from 20 something thousand and then crashing in 2020 to like 4,000, who's to say it's not going to do that again? Go to 40,000 and go to like 10,000 at the lowest, right? If that's the case, that's a steal. But people are going to be very weary. And guess what? If those people are weary, that's too bad because in 2023, we all gonna be happy. We're gonna be praising Jesus that we got what we needed to get. So, and get our money off of exchanges. We have the church, we have tower. And guys, I do have a little bit of a raspy voice because I need to drink my lemon honey tea. So sorry, it's kind of like cringy, um, but hopefully it's not bothering you people. And if it is, well, then like leave, I don't know what to say, um, bye. <laughs> so we have mountain obstacle problem. Yeah. The problems are getting, are about to get solved here. A lot of people's problems, financial problems potentially are about to get solved too. Um, again, I think that people who are just like paranoid and selling at the lowest of lows saying, oh, I lost like so much money. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things where like you haven't lost until you sell, right? Like you, and you haven't technically, like you haven't lost anything until you sell because then you have to pay taxes and you could have made more and you're just like, oh, but you know, it's also kind of nice if you can hold something for the long run and 
kind of get to a place where maybe it doesn't matter as much. Um, so, you know, they're saying the third week of March is when things could start picking up. Three, three, third month, third week. Yeah, three, three. Okay, well, that's kind of all I have here. Rabbit's new beginnings because it's about to come through. The crashes always prompt new beginnings. We have bad healthier. Again, it's kind of like the dip before a sudden increase because the tower is here. It's a sudden increase in wealth. It's a sudden increase. Could also be that some of us are getting promoted in our jobs because we've made it past all the other like crazy stuff that the sickness has brought into our lives. And if you've kind of withstood the test of time or withstood like your stand, if you're standing tall after all of these years, after the sickness and through the sickness and you haven't really been laid off or if you have been laid off, it's kind of like, it's not that you are like uh, bad in any way because are or, or bad at your job in any way, but it's kind of just like there's this shift to kind of like try to find a new way of working completely. And so some people, it's just in their path to have lost their position because it was no longer serving them, right? And some people are going on completely separate paths or different paths, and that's part of their journey that they're supposed to go on. And for those people out there that are unemployed or people that are struggling in any way, shape, or form, like I am praying for you because it is very tough out there to get any types of positions, 300 job op job applications, and out of those 300, hearing back from like five, and then getting like two offers. I mean, what is this world that we're even living in anymore? You know, like what type of bogus is that? Who That's going to de-incentivize the entire mark, the entire workplace, the workforce from looking for a new job. So in some ways, it's not that I'm like super pro unemployment for years and years, but I also am kind of like, well, if I was in that position and I was applying for like six months trying to get a, a the job that worked for me that could cover my expenses and I wasn't getting anything, I can, and it's because of how bad and effed up the workforce, like job application markets are. It's also part of the great reset, okay? This is all part of the great reset. And this crypto-ish crypto is also part of it. So just allow it to come through. Get out of your SHIT coins. If you have any, not financial advice, but if you have, if you see any sort of a profit in the next three months, even if it's $20, even if it's $100, to be 100% honest, uh, you know, getting rid of it and selling it before regulations hit and before you get questioned by authorities as to why you have these particular, you know, coins in your wallet or whatever, like, you know, I just to be 100% honest, I would get out of those things. So you kind of can save your booty. Um, because I do feel like some group of people, I don't know who these people are, but it just feels like there's a group that's going to be affected by that because they're too involved and too, um, they're too fixated on fast money and fast money is not real money. Okay. And I say that because it's also a symbolic phrase. Fast money is not real money because just as quickly as you get it, you could spend it and lose it. It's not really money that like you technically deserve in a lot of ways. Yes, the universe is is providing you with something that you do. You deserve it if you can preserve it, okay? If you can preserve it, then yes, you deserve it. But if you cannot preserve that money and you have to spend it as quickly as you made it, including if you have to pay off debts or whatever, that's a gift from the universe saying, we're going to make you debt free. We're going to pay off your car loan, get your new car, get your, you know, your six month emergency fund. This is your gift from us for X, Y, and Z reasons. But again, if you didn't preserve it, you don't deserve it. Meaning if you can't make that 
that money become long-term money, become passive income, meaning buying tangible assets that are not just going to be, you know, get blacklisted in the next two to three years by authorities all around the world because I, I mark my words, this is coming. This is coming, it's gonna hit people hard and fast and they're gonna be scared because they're going to be afraid that they are going to lose money. Don't be that person. Be transparent with your, with your resources. Make sure that you have a certified financial advisor that you are speaking to. These are just obvious things. This is common sense, but some people like need common sense. I am not a financial advisor. Like you might ask me questions in my DMs or ask me questions in the comments about exactly what to do, when to do it. I'm not that person. I'm not a certified person for that. Get your accountant. Make sure that you disclose all of the sources of your money and to your accountant and ask them questions to show that you want to stay on top of this stuff as well. Because if anything does come up, there is a third party that's kind of involved to help assist with saying, okay, X, Y, and Z is happening. You don't want to be that person that is caught in some sort of a fire because, you know, you're trying to be shady and you weren't asking the right questions to people that could help you to make sure that you are actually okay. Um, and I feel like, again, crypto is going to make a lot of people living a completely different life. This is like the gold rush. This is a new version of the gold rush. This is the dot-com boom. This is after all the real estate, the real estate market tanked and a bunch of everyday people could buy like five rental properties. And now they could sell them those rental properties. They could flip them and sell them for millions of dollars. That's the same thing as crypto. People have been holding this stuff and they're going to see their day in the sun, especially if they've been holding on to the ones that are reliable, that have been on the exchanges the longest, that have the biggest backings behind them. And, you know, if you haven't figured out those coins yet, like that's your job to do your research. Not for me to tell you, not for some crypto person, guru person to tell you. And I keep it real on my channel because like there are people out there saying, oh, I'm going to do a crypto reading of blah, blah, blah coin. Um, and it's like every single day or it's like every single week. And it's kind of just like, okay, sometimes less is more. Sometimes just giving people the scoop. You know, if you have those types of people you listen to on a daily basis because you're obsessed with those, I don't mind being the person that every week or every other week I put out a video and it's just like, okay, this person is saying all these things, that person's saying all these things, but let's sum it up in like a 30 minute video and just get straight to the point, which is this. And it's just a reminder. It's like a roll call for everybody who's been doing the right things and kind of people needing to get their their issues their their things set up together and make sure that they are um on top of their stuff so they're not in the line of fire for doing the wrong type of work or in being involved in shady things and like if again like i said if you are saying to people in comment sections buy x coin that's like pyramid scheme because you're telling other people to buy coins. We know obviously like the big coins, the larger coins, it makes sense. But when you're seeing people say in the comment section of every single video like that, I myself or other random people like do, and they're like, buy this coin. And it's just like, don't be schemy. Like if we want to, we will. <laughs> Thank you for telling us about this coin, but like we, I've never heard of it. Why would I put my coin, my money in that? Even like the amount of money I could put into lunch, I wouldn't do it if it was like a coin that no one's ever heard of that's like not even possible to get on an everyday exchange. And for people who know, they know that I am like one of those people that's very more traditional in regards to like, I stick to the big five, exchanges like you know if I have a fan my favorite is coinbase right like I'm one of those people that sticks to the main the main exchanges the main coins where it's the most transparent where if anything was to ever happen it would be 
uh, there wouldn't be any issues. And you know, if I can't find a coin on one of those top big exchanges and they're on like some random exchange, that's also schemey too, because those random like D-list exchanges are the ones that are also going to get caught in this regulation from Biden's, you know, decision to get FBI or whoever the people are that they, he's going to create some sort of a team, a task force for it. I wouldn't want to be involved in any of those types of exchanges. Those are the first to go, right? Like not financial advice, just my guides telling you what it is. So hope this reading helped you guys. This was kind of longer than I expected, but um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Libra's Way. If it helped, if you thought it resonated, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And stay woke, stay awakened, and make sure that you are being smart with your money because it is yours, it is your decision to do whatever it is that you're going to do. But watch out for scammers, okay? Be very careful about this. This is a big issue. And, like, that's it. Bye, guys. Have a great day and best of luck.